more time with another video. You already know what it is. You already know what I'm gonna say. What I'm doing today, I dropped the Audi R8 V10 Plus car review. Now, this is my first car review, so take it easy on me. It was kind of strange, it was different, because it's different when you go from doing specs on the car in your own to actually having to tell somebody what's going on with the car because you don't want somebody trolling, you know what I mean? But at the end of the day, you gotta step outside your comfort zone and do what, you, do what I preach, because I tell people all the time, you cannot make everybody happy. Not everybody's gonna like what you're doing, so I gotta do what I preach. Now, I'm just gonna drop the video. It's gonna be kind of awkward and weird. It's not gonna be very elaborate, but no, it's gonna be elaborate enough to know if you like the car or not, but it's not gonna be like Doug DeMiro elaborate, I should say that. But anyway, man, take it easy on me. Like, subscribe, comment, and share, and enjoy the video, man. It's an incredible joke. What's up, YouTube? It's your boy, the Incredible Joe, back at it again with another video, man. Today, what we are doing, don't mind and swear, it's kind of hot in this garage. We are doing the Audi R8 V10, man. Audi R8 V10 review is my first exotic car review. And like I said, this car is awesome. I'm sitting in the car right now. I'm right here at Net Car Showroom. It's in Houston, Texas, off of Kempwood and Clay Road, I believe. But anyway, man, we got this beautiful 2017 Audi R8 V10 Plus. And here, look at this steering wheel, first of all, man. That's the first thing. That's the first thing I want to show you guys. Look at this steering wheel. You can't beat that. You cannot beat the way this steering wheel looks. Look at it. Look at all that in there, man. Look at all that in there, man. Look at this. You got your big defrosters right there all that kind of stuff you got your navigation and maps and all that you got your big glove compartments and stuff right here man cup cup holders and all that diamond tread stitching on the seats look at how nasty this looks man you got your diamond on the, on the uh, ceiling of the roof of the car with your alcantara look at the flat bottom on the r8 man you got your bank and a loose and audio system and look at the door panel first of all this door panel is extremely nasty if anybody's ever been in this car oh it's hot if anybody's ever been in this car do you know that this car is very low to the ground the seats are very comfortable though the car like itself is 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 when you in the car it feels like power now i'm not going to drive it today because like i said it's a it's a limited car you know and all that kind of stuff and it's a liability if i drive the car but anyway like i said man when you're inside here you got your gear shifter right here you get all of this stuff right here you got your quattro got your glove compartment look at the glove space in there man you got your vents here your big vents and stuff and when you look up here let me see when you look up here in the door and look at that we got it closed when you open the door and you look right there look at how that cup up out man now this is what i love right here this digital display i love all of that like i said and just like in the lamborghini Huracan, this car when you have all your displays and radio and all that kind of stuff going on it shows up on the on the um on the digital screen right here all this stuff show up by the way i did go ahead and get a gopro so i'm not on my phone anymore like i said so i am trying to step it up you know what i mean but anyway man you got all this kind of stuff right here like i said your door panels are crazy you got the big audi right there when you shine on the ground you got all this in here i see you got all your controls right there it's a big crazy car man um i see you got your you got all that up there man like i said but anyway i do love this car I love this car. I know my girlfriend. It's her dream car. Um, so like I said, you really can't go wrong with it. You got all that kind of stuff up here, man. Then you got... Shit is hot. You got your trunk space up here. Oh, yeah. Big foreign whipped up. Now, one thing about foreign cars and American cars, a lot of them anyway, when you put, when you lift the hood up, well, for a lot of us where the hood would be, you lift it up and it's really not the hood. It's the trunk. That's why a lot of these rappers, they be like, I got the trunk in the front. That's what they mean. The trunk right here in the front of the car. You got your big headlights right there, your big grill. The only thing about the car that I don't like may be the wheels. Because that would be really hard to clean. And they're, they should have been black. They should have been black to add on to the accents of the car anyway. But, as like I said, there's really nothing about, the car, nothing about the car that you can't like. And for a lot of you that don't know, this car actually compares a lot to the Lamborghini Huracan. Um, which is kind of like the big brother of the car. Um, the Huracan... For those of you who don't know, Audi is making Lamborghini right now. Um, so that's why a lot of the vehicles are going to um, resemble a lot of the same. I'm going to close it. A lot of the vehicles um, between Audi and Lamborghini are going to resemble a lot because they're coming off of the same assembly line. That should be glass right there. So, like I said, it's the V10 Plus. So, as far as this and Lamborghini Huracan goes, they have a lot of similarities as far as the engine noise. Okay. 
I didn't want to slam it. As far as the engine noise and the crackles and the pops, when you come off the accelerator and you get really hot in RPMs. But anyway, man, like I said, yeah, they got a lot of nice cars, man. They got that right there. They got this very nice 1973 Z28 right here. You got your Mercedes, you got your Jeep. But anyway, man, like I said, this car compares a lot to the Lamborghini Huracan. I'm kind of hot right now. They kind of busy, so I'm not talking this loud. They kind of, they got, like I said, it compares a lot. The headlights are probably my favorite feature on the car. Like I said, besides the, the body of the car, but the headlights itself, because that's one thing that they did change in this car a lot um, from the old models. Now, the one thing that Audi makes that compares to this car is the Audi TT RS. The Audi TT RS is like the little brother to this car. It's a track, track focused car. Like I said, so um, they do compare a lot to each other. Like I said, the Lamborghini Huracan, I'm gonna keep saying it because a lot of people don't know this car compares a lot to the Huracan. Like I said, if I could drive it today, I would. Um, and I will have a Lamborghini Huracan review coming soon. But like I said, man, that's that's one thing about this car that I do like is that if you can't afford the Huracan, which is like 205,000 and it goes up to about 250, if you get the Performante, I believe, or something like that, you can get this car right here for around 150,000. This is the 2017 model right here. You can get this car for around 150,000, 167,000, I believe, brand new MSRP. Um, damn, it's hot. MSRP would be like $167,000. But you can find these cars right here for around 145. I've seen uh, Macargo is if they're used, they're not brand new. But like I said, you can find them for that price. Look at this car, man. Look at this. Look at the big Brembos right there. Look at that crap, man. Audi right there with the big wheels and the big caliper and those things. The only thing I wish they'd have done in this car, I feel like should have been an automatic, is they should have put orange brake calipers to match the car. I feel like every brake caliper on the car should match the color of the car when you're paying as much for the car, like I said. But I get it. I understand. You got your big carbon fibers right here. And for those of you who don't know, your spoiler is carbon fiber as well. Your spoiler is carbon fiber um, spoiler. Yeah, all this right here is functional. That's functional. Everything right here. You got your big diffuser right there. That's it. That's where your gas cap is right here. Big R8 on there. But anyway, as far as the um, the functionality of the car and all that kind of stuff, I won't be driving it. So that's something you're going to have to go look at on somebody else's channel and all that kind of stuff. But anyway, man, this is my first car review. This is my first time um, getting in front of the camera to do a car review. Besides my own car, like I said, I have a Challenger Scat Pack 2018, brand new. It's sitting outside right now, big bolstered up. But anyway, like I said, all oh, that's functional right there, man. All oh, that's right there. Functional. Anyway, if you want this car or any other car in here, come to Net Car Showroom right here in Houston, Texas, off Kempwood and Clay Road exit. I said, look at this Jeep over here, man. Big crazy Jeep over here. Big AMG. Look at that Jeep. Some shit that DJ Khaled would have. But anyway, like I said, man, it's my first car review. It's my first time doing this kind of stuff, so it's kind of off to me. But anyway, as far as the engine goes, I forgot to say, as far as the engine goes, I believe it's putting out around. 560 540 horsepower to the crank and about 390 torque to the crank so to the wheel i think it was 13 30 percent or 15 percent something like that so you do the math on that and you get what it's putting to the ground but either way like i said as far as the way this car is the way this car is built you really can't go wrong with a car like this i honestly feel like if you had to put your money where your mouth was and you had that kind of cash to go blow on a car like this this is the car I would go with over the Lamborghini just simply because it's the same car and they're going to have the same noise, going to have the same sound. Like I said, so that's that's the only thing about this car that really has the Lamborghini beats the price because once you think about paying for this and that and you're getting a relatively the same performance, not the same, but once you think about how much you're paying versus the, the difference in performance you're getting, it, it don't make sense. So a lot of people probably go with the R8. I love the Lamborghini, don't get me wrong, so I probably will still go with the Lamborghini. But as far as price, pound for pound, this car has probably got the Lamborghini beat. Um, like I said, they got some good guys in here. There's some good guys, good people. They let me come by and do the review. Like I said, but I can't drive the car because it'd be a liability. Look at that. But either way, man, they got some nice stuff in here. They have, um, like I said, they've had, they have Lamborghinis in here. They have the Mercy Lago in here at one point. Um, I thought, it's actually I was coming up here to do, but it's not here right now. But anyway, man, what's up, YouTube? So the end of this video just got cut off uh, due to uploading issues. I'm new to the whole GoPro editing, all that kind of stuff. I'm new to it. So the video actually got cut off and I can't 
find the second half of the video but anyway i really hope you guys enjoy the video like i said bear with me because it was my first time and stay tuned like i said like subscribe and all that kind of stuff and <clears throat> i got more content coming man we're gonna go to scat pack right here real dirty i'm out of town right now real dirty but anyway that's the end of the video man it's incredible job i'm out of here appreciate it